Jerry's a weird crazy caterpillar with a look at the case. Credit RTL David Brown. Uh, this machine had fairly put the, the 995 at home to shame. Uh, big old case. Other than the colours, there's not really much that represents the, the David Brown. Uh, like it's, it's a completely different tractor. But, lovely order this. It's got around 5,000 hours on it. So, yeah, it's in, it's in really nice condition. A little tear in the seat. But, yeah, lovely tractor. Uh, used to be uh, this this farmer's main tractor at one time, but he just uses now for, for mowing verges and and cutting round round the farm. Uh, it's got this fairly large, uh, it's like a mulcher mower on the back. So Jerry's coming back in the caterpillar. He's a little inkling to drive a a tract a tract tractor. So. Here he comes. Yeah, it's a fully operational farm. This uh, it's got uh, quite a bit, quite a bit of it is uh, organic, as far as I know. So we only just arrived here, so I'm not just 100% sure on it all. Yeah, it's got a lovely 4440 in the shed, which I'll go and uh, take a little bit, bit of footage of now when Jerry pulls in. disc on it as well which I'm sure would be absolutely no problem for this machine to pull and there he is so we've got rid of Jerry out of the driver's seat and I've just jumped in myself very easy to drive steering is super responsive just try not to to tear the ground too much when I'm steering it because obviously if you go to steer to the left it has to stop the the right hand, oh sorry to the right, let's stop the right hand track. But uh, yeah, very responsive, easy to drive, clutch and, uh, clutch and brake like a normal tractor. And we have uh, a very simple way to change the gears, just tip it over and we're away on up in the gear. So we're up in the ninth gear and tipping along nicely. But very comfortable, very nice to drive. Yeah, these caterpillars, uh, these challenges, well, they're challengers, I think they call them here, but uh, we can get these at home as well, also in class colours, just, just from memory. But uh, yeah, it's certainly not anything that we need on the farm, but nice to drive. So we'll turn it around a little bit, you can see. Fairly simple, very simple to drive. Huge big bonnet on there there. I don't know what horsepower this is. It could be up on 400 horsepower, I'd imagine. Uh, but I'll ask, I'll ask the owner when I get out and just find out for sure. And I'll put it down below in the, in the description. Yeah, the cultivator follows very nicely behind. I have no problem spending, spending a whole day in this machine. Lovely and comfortable to drive. So I didn't get in to take any footage of the 4440 yet, but when I get in there, when I get in there in a moment, I'll take a little bit of footage and uh, we can have a look at it and, and see what we think of it. Now, just pull up here where it was parked, and we'll try and stop it. We'll try and stop it in position. Now, it is off the accelerator. No foot accelerator in this machine, just a hand throttle. So, with clutch up. So very simple, just basically the exact same as what how you'd stop a, a normal tractor, a, a wheel tractor. Uh, take it out of forward gear, there's a clutch here just on the on the back, pull it in the middle, and there you are. That's it in neutral. 
pull on the handbrake and that's us stopped stopped and finished with so that's it I'll uh, go in now and we'll take the bit of footage we'll take the bit of footage now of the 4440 So this is something a little bit special for me, an absolutely iconic uh, American John Deere tractor here, 4440, one of my two favourites uh, in the American John Deere lineup this year, uh, and the other is like a 4955, but these were an absolute monster of a tractor back late, late 70s, early 80s, these found America, they were an absolutely amazing machine. And um, this is a fine example, there's about 7,000 hours on it and still still working hard, does all the drilling. Uh, I see there's a GPS set up in there in it and yeah, just beautiful tractor. Uh, we'll just have a little look into it. Oh, no. So, you see they've got a, like a shuttle gear change in them, no manual box in them. Uh, and similar to like a 4050 series at home in a lot of ways. I can see a lot of things jumping out at me that reminds me of, of those tractors at home. But yeah, she's been busy at work this machine, so a little bit of dust on it, and uh, that's all to be expected. But yeah. Uh, big exhaust and a big air intake uh, to get the, the fumes out and the air in. But that's really it. A little bit now looking at it. Yeah, it's the first time I've been really up close to one of them. Uh, I'd love to have drove it, but unfortunately, uh, just when it's in here, I'm not going to not going to ask to get it taken out. So that's it. Let's see what else we can see. Well, here's something you don't see every day. One of those red covered bridges. Uh, I believe this is the only one left in the state of Illinois. They're all getting fairly, fairly short on the ground. Uh, this one here was built in the 1800s. So a fine specimen of a bridge. And a decent enough span on it too. It's covering, you can see there's a quite a, quite, quite a decent sized river here at the side and it's covering, uh, bridging over that. But uh, timber's getting fairly old, and as you can see there, plenty of rot going on it. And they've strengthened it up with some, some steel. But, absolutely beautiful structure. And uh, lots of history to it. Uh, interesting sign on the top of it. Five dollar fine for driving more than 20 horses, mules or cattle at one time or for leading any beast faster than a walk on or across this bridge. So, I'll try not to do that so. Yeah, lovely. Lots of history to, to it. And uh, something you've seen in lots of movies down through the years. Uh, there's probably plenty of them left in other states, but it is, this is the only one left in Illinois. 